Hello students, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to explain the basics of cell structure and function. This is the representation of an animal cell. There is no cell wall present in animal cell, but the cell wall is the outermost layer in the plant cell. However, I will explain the plant cell in a different video. Let's start with animal cell structure and function. The cell membrane or plasma membrane is the outermost layer in an animal cell. The plasma membrane separates the cell from the outer environment. It also helps in the transport of material from outside of the cell to inside and inside to outside of the cell. Nucleus is the largest cell organelle. You can see this. This is the nucleus. This is the nuclear membrane. Nucleus is the largest cell organelle. Within the nucleus, the chromosomes are in a loosely coiled state known as chromatin. Chromosomes contain DNA which is organized into functional units called genes. Therefore, Nucleus is involved in cell activities and inheritance. Also, within the nucleus, the nucleolus manufactures ribosomes using the information in its own DNA. Centrioles are cylindrical structures that are made up of protein called microtubules. The centrioles are involved in spindle formation during cell division. This extensive system of membranes are known as endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum or ER. One is smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the other is rough endoplasmic reticulum. The tiny organelles known as ribosomes are present on rough endoplasmic reticulum, therefore they appear rough. The other ER which appears smooth due to lack of ribosomes on it, it is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The ribosomes present on rough endoplasmic reticulum is the site for protein synthesis. The smooth ER is involved in the synthesis of lipids including cholesterol and phospholipids. The Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus is connected with ER. It is involved in modifying and packaging of proteins coming from ER so that they can function in the body. Moreover, it is also involved in transport of lipids and synthesis of polysaccharides. Mitochondria is also an important organelle of the cell. The main function of mitochondria is to carry out the later stages of aerobic respiration. As a result of respiration, they make ATP, the universal energy carrier in the cell. So that's the reason mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell. They are also involved in synthesis of lipids. Lysosomes are spherical sacs surrounded by uh, single membranes and having no internal structure. They contain hydrolytic enzymes or digestive enzymes and are responsible for breakdown of unwanted materials such as old organelles or even whole cells. In white blood cells, they are used to digest bacteria through endocytosis. So this was an overview of cell structure and function. If you need to learn in detail about each cell organelle, do watch my other videos where I explained about all of the organelles. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and also inform your friends and fellows in the biology class.